So let's get set up so we can do all of these cool things. The first thing that we want to do is pull down the AWS SDK for PHP. And that's going to allow us to use all of the functionality to upload, download, everything you need to do. So we're going to be pulling this from the repository here. You can read more information about this if you just head over to the GitHub uh, repository. And this is obviously available on packages, so we can use Composer to download this. You can go ahead and see any inf uh, version information just over here. And you'll obviously need Composer for this. So if you don't have Composer installed, uh, it's a dependency manager for PHP, go ahead and download that. It works on all operating systems. So we are currently working within a directory called S3. It's an empty directory. All I've got at the moment is a files folder with a text file here that's just called uploadme.txt. We'll be looking later at uploading that. So make sure you've got a file handy that you can test uploading with. So over in our text editor then, let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this all set up. So I'm going to create a new composer file. So let's save this as composer.json. And inside of here, we need to decide what we want to require in. And obviously, this is going to be AWS, AWS SDK PHP. So we can go ahead and just copy this here. And let's copy the full of this. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull in 2.7.star. Uh, uh, obviously, these version information will change, make sure that you're pulling in a sensible version. And we're going to head over to our terminal and we're going to do a composer install on this. Make sure you're within the directory with your composer.json file. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and start using it immediately. But we want to get a few things set up first. So I'm going to create an app directory inside of the directory I'm working in. And inside of here, I'm going to create a couple of files. The first one is where I'm going to store my configuration, like my uh, keys that I use to access my uh, Amazon account. And also, I want to go ahead and create a start file so we can load in our dependencies and get going with this. So for our config then, what we want to do is inside of this PHP file, just return an array. The reason we're doing this is because eventually we're going to need to store CloudFront details as well. So let's create an array key here called AWS, uh, S3, sorry. That's going to store our key. And we'll look at how we grab this in a moment. It's going to store our secret. And again, this is similar. We'll look at how we grab this. And also the name of the bucket. I've already got one set up called s3.website.com. If you don't already have a bucket set up, then if you head over to your management console under S3, you can create one. Uh, it's really, really simple to do so, but I've got one here, like I said, called s3.website.com. That's just an example one. So now that we've got these, then we need to obtain our keys. So if we head over to, uh, I'm using IAM uh, to manage users, we're going to hit manage access keys and we're going to click create an access key. Uh, and we can show the user security credentials here. You might want to go ahead and download them if you need to keep them safe for uh, usage because your access key isn't going to be shown to you uh, again. So let's just paste these in here just so we've got them stored. And paste that one in there. So we've got our config set up. So now in start.php, we want to include vendor autoload. That's going to pull in the dependencies that we need to actually make API requests to Amazon. So inside of here, then we'll require in vendor autoload.php. And we'll also pull in our config. And that will be requiring in config. So this is now our array of configuration options. So let's uh, connect to S3 then, or at least um, create an S3 instance that we can then go ahead and make API calls with. So I'm just going to call this S3. And this is S3 client. And we have uh, this using a factory. So we can pass in our credentials here. So our key is going to be from config. Remember, under that S3 key that we created, and that's a key. So now what we can do is do the same for secret. So let's grab our secret. That's just under secret. 
So that's pulled in all the configuration that we need, but S3 client is namespaced under AWS S3. So at the top of whatever file you're using to include this in, you need to uh, use this or import it. So it's namespaced under AWS S3, and that's obviously called S3 client. And now we're pretty much ready to go and call whatever methods we have available on S3 to do things like upload and list files. So for example, if we create a new file here, I'm just going to save this as upload.php and we can require in app start.php. We can go ahead and check this out in the browser. And obviously I have misspelled this, so it'll be config.php, not just config. And we are now ready to go ahead and upload files in the next part.